Today is a defining moment in the US election campaign, setting the stage for November's presidential election. Primary polls are open in more than a dozen states, with millions of people casting their ballots across the country. It's considered to be Nikki Haley's last chance to stop Donald Trump from clinching the Republican nomination. The former South Carolina governor is adamant she can still turn the tide in her favour. But if it's a poor result, Nikki Haley is likely to end her bid for the White House. We can do better than two 80-year-old candidates for president. <laughs> courage for me to run and courage for every one of you to know, don't complain about what happens in a general election if you don't play in this primary. It matters. It matters. Super Tuesday is the biggest day of voting in the primary cycle. For the Republican Party, 15 states and the territory of American Samoa are holding their nominating events, including the most populous jurisdictions, California and Texas. More than a third of all 2,429 delegates are up for grabs on Super Tuesday. 1,215 is the magic number of delegates needed to secure the nomination at the Republican National Convention. The voters don't directly select their nominee in these contests. They choose the delegates, which are then bound to their allocated candidate for the party conventions in July and August. Each state has a number of spots, largely based on population. This time around, many voters lodging their ballots have expressed concern about the candidates standing on both sides. We need somebody to look out for the peoples, but not uh, the parties. See, they, they done got hooked up on the parties, the uh, Republican Party, the uh, Democratic Party. What about the nation? I'm still going back and forth with it um, due to the fact I, um, Biden is a great guy, um, Democrat, um, but at the same time, we're looking for change. I have a lot of problems with President Trump, and so um, I wanted to vote for someone that, well, Nikki Haley was the only choice on the ballot that wasn't him. I want to vote for Trump because I think he's conservative, he was pro-life, and I think he did a whole lot for the country when he was president. Despite facing numerous legal matters, Donald Trump continues to dominate the Republican race. He has been buoyed by a Supreme Court ruling overturning state moves to disqualify him from running. We need your vote. So get out and vote. Let's make this something really special. We want to send the signal that we're coming like a freight train. The Trump campaign believes the former president will pick up at least 773 delegates today and then the nomination later this month. As for the Democratic Party, Joe Biden is well ahead in allocated delegates, pointing to a November presidential election rematch between him and Donald Trump. My poll numbers, the last five polls you guys don't report, I'm winning five, five in a row.